Welcome to Riding Pines Metropolitan Division Trade Block. And I'm going to my phone here because we want to shout out Sebastian Shaw for recommending this video in our 100 followers, our 100 subscribers video. Uh, thank you, Sebastian. So the idea here is that we each pick a team. Yeah, we've picked three, three, and two um, within the Metropolitan Division, and we have to su suggest one player from each team that is going to be traded by the end of the year, or I, I think he said by by the draft. So and this is hard. Could be draft. It could be before at, at least free before agency. the twenty eighteen nineteen season. Right. Let's, Let's agree on that. that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And and like Harper said, it's not easy. Uh, a lot of these teams we don't necessarily watch thoroughly. Um, so it's going to be tough. Uh, who wants to go first? You know what this made me not want to do is mm. be an NHL GM. Yeah. <laughs> like I was looking at all this and I was like, well, I give it to these young guys becoming NHL GMs. Cause it's just like, no way. Oh yeah. Don't go to cap friendly. Cause it's close. Oh, Vegas just scored and it is now three, two. Oh, that's garbage. Ooh. And there's a big brawl. There's a big brawl. Carlson's <laughs> taking. Okay. Little... You know what? I'm going to start. Yes. Um, I the three teams that I was or that I selected were Philly, Washington, Carolina. So I'll bust through these real quick. I think Philly should trade Brian Elliott. Boy, uh, still a, res a respectable goals against average and save percentage could be a solid number two. Could maybe even fight for a uh, a starting spot somewhere where they need a goalie. Uh, Carolina Jeff Skinner, um, based on the the Patrick Kane trade, I think. Carolina's going to go through a rebuild. I think what they'd be oh, looking at Oh, yeah, they've already for, said they're doing it. Well, for what they'd be looking at would be probably a high first rounder and a good prospect. Jeff Skinner's very good. Mm -hmm. um, Although concussed to bits. He'll be fine. Okay. And uh, Washington, I think uh, Philip Gr Grubauer. Yeah. Uh, he'll be a number one somewhere. Uh, and I think Washington... Islanders. Well, exactly. And that's what I have there. I said oh, yeah. uh, he could go to New York because that's what they need. Um, and I think, I mean... Washington thought he was number one at the start of the playoffs, so I think that those are my three. Perfect. Harps, do you want to go with your last, your two, or do you want me to take my three? I'll, I'll take my two. Okay. I think I'm going to go with a really juicy one. Really juicy one. And everybody says, go with somebody else. I <laughs> eat Darcy. Darcy. But I got Pittsburgh, and I got Columbus. Yay, Columbus. Um, so I'm going to go with the juicy one first. So I think Phil Kessel is going to be traded this summer. He's gonna, That's juicy. Either before the draft or after the draft. It's going to be a blockbuster because this dude put up 92 points. Wow. He's getting paid. So, so many like, points. Who cares? He's getting paid $8 million a year. You should pay $8 million a year to a guy like that. Yeah. And Phil Kessel is a gamer, right? So where do I think he's going to go? There's a lot of options. He's off. I think he doesn't really care where he goes. I don't no, think he so. cares about winning another Stanley Cup because he already has two. Um, but I can see him going to a big market, i.e. Montreal, i.e. Wouldn't you what would that? what would what oh would be God. the point of Montreal getting Phil Kessel? They need some. They need goals. You're not there though. They, Realistically, they, they need to dump and rebuild. They'd be able to get rid of Pacioretty. Exactly. Let's see, that that's my so trade. Is, of a a Pacioretty for Kessel wouldn't be straight up, but it no, probably wouldn't be. You'd, they'd probably have to give up like a second rounder or somebody with the that line. deep prospect pool you have. Is that really <laughs> something you want to give away as more picks? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely would. So I say Kessel's getting traded. I'm not saying he's going to Montreal, but I would like it. Okay. Uh, number two would be Columbus. Yeah. Columbus. I don't. I can't really say a ton about Columbus. I don't watch a lot of their games. I didn't like the way that Brandon Dubinsky played this year. So he wasn't able to cross check Sidney Crosby in the face eighty two times in a year. He's kind of like he's lost his he's lost his edge. He's playing more as like a gritty player now. Um, and I honestly think that he's gonna get traded somewhere. He scored six goals, twelve assists. Like he's just That's not point. not where he used to be, where he was and how old you know, is he? He's thirty three, something Dubinsky, like that. Dubinsky, yeah, he's a little up there. He's like thirty four. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got a he he's gonna get traded. That's my. Those are my two picks. So Fissel, 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 Fissel. I'm gonna call Fissel. him Fissel from now on. Uh, yeah. So Phil Kessel and Brendan Dubinsky. There you go. I had the Islanders, the Rangers, the Devils. For the Islanders, I'm going with Josh Hosang. His time is done mm -hmm. with the Islanders. Uh, he, I want him to stay badly. I just take said him. this on, on the other on the other Isles on Isles podcast yesterday. I want him to stay. I just think his time is done. Lou might be able to reinvigorate him like he did with Kadri and like he did with Gomez. I just I think the writing is on the wall. Just 
Start somewhere else. You've been false started so many times, just go somewhere else. For the Rangers, I went with Lundqvist. Oh, yikes. Because, like, honestly... A healthy the, Lundqvist, Because, like honestly, the rebuild isn't over until Lundqvist goes. Yeah, yeah. that's true. They right? Like, he's a 36-year-old goalkeeper making $8 million on the cap. Yeah. How much are you going to get for him in, in a goalie-deprived market? Like, I just, and, and maybe it's too late. I just don't ever believe New York with that management is going to ever go through a real full rebuild. You're they probably need right. To. Like, I with don't the letter think they sent they out, will. they just need to pull the plug, cut the cord, and get rid of it. I think You're that was probably like a feeler, right. and I think they got some pretty nasty reaction from it. I don't think the I don't know. fans I think they, are super they, supportive. I think the, the real ones were, but... Yeah. I think so the idea here is that I think it's too late, though. Because who's yeah. in the, who's in the hunt for a goaltender? The, the Islanders? Islanders? He can't go there. He's not going to go there. He, it should have been Dallas last year. Yeah. It should have been Dallas. And that didn't work. What about so. Philly? Maybe. Go. That's a go. good one. It's, it's inter- not too far up the road. You can just drive an hour or two. division, though. So that might be tough. And then sure. I had the New Jersey Devils. And the Devils, I wasn't really sure. Cause Taylor Hall. <laughs> <laughs> for Adam Larson again. <laughs> yeah. Just swip, swap. Swap. Um, I went with... Patrick Maroon, and as I'm saying that, I'm feeling like he's a UFA. I'm going to say it anyways because I think he's the guy out because they picked him up. I think they trade him before um, July to get like a fourth, fifth round pick out of his rights. But You could sign a trade. The idea here is that I don't think they give anyone up because they did so well with what they had. I think that they're just trying to improve. They're going to be bringing players in, and who they let go is going to be like depth forwards. They have a deep. Deep Could you not technically school. have a conversation with another team and just say, like, a sort of do, do like a sign and trade? But you're yes. not allowed to talk to that player. No, but like he's saying, we'll sign Patrick Maroon. Yeah. And then come July, or, or we'll trade him because he doesn't have a move, a no move. So they can trade him easily. Yeah. Well, what do you, what do you want to sign him to? Six over six? Done. I don't think it'll be that, but you know, yeah. you get you get my drift. And after, before, a very quick fact check, Brandon Dubinsky is 32, 32 years old. I just thought about there it. There you go. So what do you think of the Metropolitan Division? Who in the Metropolitan Division moves? And shout out to Sebastian Shaw once again. You the man. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And click on one of these videos that Harper's going to make pop up here.